guys, how's it going? Welcome to this lesson. Uh, first of all, uh, the reason why I'm teaching this is just because it's one of the best things that I've ever heard, really. Um, I've always loved this melody. Uh, but the thing is, it's really good for um, basic uh, fr fretting. So uh, I don't know if all of you know, but you're supposed to, instead of playing notes flat, like with your fingers flat to the strings, that's with my fingers flat on the strings. You're not supposed to do that. You, the correct technique is to be on your fingertips. That's why you can't see sort of the the fronts of my fingers because they're in the strings basically. Uh, and, and that's how you get complete proficiency when you get that really good. And uh, there's no sort of things where say you, you're fretting a string and you want to pick a string below it but you accidentally mute it because you've got your fingers flat uh, it's completely established that you're supposed to be on the tips so because this uh, technique is I play it all on the same string uh, it's quite easy just to sort of not have to worry about uh, doing anything else just once you're trying to well once you're sort of managing to get to grips with having your fingers uh, like on, on the tips uh, you might be able, well, no, you, my fingers are dead, but you can kind of see that on the tips of my finger, on the tip of my finger, uh, it sort of goes in from where I've been pushing it down. Um, but it's literally just that that you're going to be watching out for. And once you get to grips with that, you can sort of grasp it a bit tighter because you're not sort of getting thrown off by having to do different strings. Uh, so yeah uh, and also you don't have to do this but I like to do it because I reckon once I've sort of got this mastered uh, I will be incredible with like my left hand technique but I always keep my and that's another thing that this melody is good for uh, I keep my fingers square to the frets so it's kind of like you can have like a finger on the fret uh, on like using your the tip of the finger which is what I'm saying you need to do but it might be at an angle uh, depending on what happens like sort of like when you're sort of using this finger here your third finger and then you go to put on the pinky somewhere else it might not be dead on completely straight in the center uh, but with this it's quite I mean for example like the first note I've got that square dead on and then when I get to this next one I need to tilt it a bit to get it square. It's sort of at an angle and I need to tilt it. Uh, so keeping actually everything dead sort of like even. Because if you say, what do you mean by having it dead square? What does that mean? It's kind of hard to describe, but it's kind of, so your finger isn't at an angle. It's just like completely uh, like centered straight uh, within the fret. It's not like that. It's not like that. It's just completely just straight on. Um, so it's sort of get get uh, your, your fingertips on the on the notes, and also to sort of get all the the bonus out of it. Try and get it so that your fingers are just completely straight. I mean, I'm not perfect with it yet, but uh, for this one, I could just about do it pretty much. <laughs> Now, um, to play it, uh, I play it all on the same string, as I've said, but I mean, for example, I was kind of sliding up a bit, and then you should know, if you've been playing for a little while, that, uh, you know, when you go up to a higher note, the exact same note will be down here on like, the higher string. Uh, but anyway, to play it, it's all on the B string, uh, 14th fret, uh, 13th fret, 9th fret, 11th fret, Now, uh, you can just pause the video and look at the tab, but yeah. So, uh, and then back up to 13. And then 14, 13 again. So. And then 16, 14, 11. Uh, 
uh, then 14, 13 again, and then 18, 16, 13, 14, and then 13 to end it, and then it starts again. That's the root note of all the notes that we're playing, that's sort of like the boss note. Um, so if you want to end it completely, go down to the 11th. Now, um, you can mess around with this, uh, like all the all the little notes. Um, but just so you guys know, uh, like on the B string, I've sort of said the notes thirteen, fourteen, and sixteen. But you can also do that on the high E as well. And then I've also said the, the, the numbers like 14, 13 and 11. And again, it's the same on the high E as well, 14, 13, 11. So you can sort of do 16, 14, 13 on both strings. And then you can do 14, 13, 11 on both strings. Now, just as an example, um, I've written a solo which I'll put tabs in the description for uh, using these notes so I can show you what, right now, what's completely possible with, with all these notes. Now these notes, they're in the key of B flat minor. Um, now B flat minor, uh, it's a group of seven notes and you can write a song using those notes. Uh, just type in Google B flat minor and it will give you the notes. Um, and the notes I've shown you will probably contain pretty much all of them because like I say, there's only seven. Uh, so that's, I mean, I like that key uh, because um, it, it sort of sounds like you know, like a frosty kind of night, you know, it sounds really nice. Uh, but yeah, that's everything, guys. Uh, if you also, if you if you see me play that solo and you kind of notice that my fingers are kind of at an angle and not square, like I told you to, it's simply just because I haven't mastered that yet. Um, you know, like I say, I could only just about do it for these slow notes all on the same string, so trying to do a solo of it all square, I haven't got to that yet. So, um, you know, we'll do it together. So thank you very much for watching guys, take care, God bless.